Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For today's look, I did a glam Valentine's Day look using only drugstore makeup. So everything that I'm wearing is from the drugstore. I actually did a poll on my Instagram a couple of days ago asking if y'all wanted to see a glam Valentine's Day look or a more casual one using all drugstore makeup. And it stayed pretty close the whole time, but the casual one ended up winning. So I actually decided to just go ahead and do both. I wanted to do the glam one first and in case y'all wanted to try and recreate this for Valentine's Day. That way it'll give you some time to practice or get any of the products you may need. And then the casual one will be very simple and quick and easy to do. So I actually got all of my products from Ulta and thank you to my friend Kaylee for helping me pick it all out. But a lot of the products you can get at Walgreens, Walmart, Target, so you don't have to live near Ulta to get it. Only I think two products that you can only get at Ulta. So before I ramble on anymore, let's go ahead and get started. This isn't a first impressions video, but I did want to let y'all know my thoughts on this foundation as I apply it and what I think once I get it on all over. So this is the new L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. It says it's a breathable, buildable coverage up to 24 hour fresh complexion. So the way, what I kind of think is it's supposed to look natural and since it's buildable, it's probably going to get up to probably just a medium coverage. A lot of times you can't get a buildable foundation to a full coverage in my opinion without it looking starting to look cakey. So I'm just going to use a damp beauty sponge to apply it because that's how I've been applying all my foundations lately. Mine is really dirty as usual so don't judge me but I'm using the Real Techniques one and that is also a drugstore product. So let's see how this does. I probably could go a little bit darker and I don't it looks really really yellow <laughs> which I do have yellow undertones but I'm a neutral I'll go ahead and add another layer and see what that looks like because it's supposed to be buildable and yeah, it's okay if I have a little bit more makeup on. So I'm going to go ahead and add another layer and see what that looks like. For concealer, I'm going to try out the new Morphe one. I've heard it's comparable to Shape Tape and y'all know I love my Shape Tape. So I thought that I would give this one a try. I definitely need a different color. I think that's why I'm not that crazy about it. It definitely helped with my dark circles, but I feel like Shape Tape still covers more. But I also do use a color corrector. So I think for my casual look, I will use the color corrector and see if I like it any better. For setting powder, I am using the Maybelline Master Fix Loose Setting Powder. This one is just translucent because that's what I prefer to use. I wasn't really crazy about the setting powder. It wasn't bad. It's just not my normal one. I think I've said this before, but I'm a creature of habit, so it's so hard for me to change products. But I definitely want to maybe try a different drugstore setting powder to find one that I really like. Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to talk anymore, but I really, really, really don't like this foundation. I think it's just because I added the two layers and I seriously really want to take all this off and start over, but I'm not going to. And I do not like the Morphe concealer either. I mean, you can still, I'm, I'm going to get up close. You can still see my dark circles. Um, I, it's not the right color. I need a different color, so it may be better with a different color, but so far I am not impressed. But like I said, not a first impressions, but I did want to let y'all know about these. So let's continue. 
for bronzer, I am using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and I'm smelling it like a weirdo because it smells so good. It reminds me of the beach, and I love the beach. I probably could have used a little bit darker in this as well, but it's not bad. I think it's still a really pretty color. I think this is just the original color, and it's really easy to build a bronzer, and I would rather this bronzer be too light than, of course, too dark, but I actually really liked this product. I've been wanting it for a long time so I thought that now would be the perfect time to try it out. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I wanted to do a monochromatic pink look. If you aren't sure what that means, it just means that I want everything to be pink. So pink eyes, pink blush, pink lips, and I think this blush is so pretty. It's the Milani Baked Powder Blush in the shade Dolce Pink. Since my brows are tinted right now, it doesn't take much to fill them in, so I am using a pencil. Normally, I would do a gel or cream, which I kind of wish I would have done that since that's what I normally do, but Anyways, I am using the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil, so it's a really skinny pencil, a lot like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Super creamy, glides on really well, and then it has this bully on the other side, and I am using the shade Soft Brown. I wanted to do a pink highlighter as well, so this is the Rainbow Highlighter from Ulta Beauty Collection. I'm using that pink at the very top, and I've actually had this for a while, so I'm not sure if they still have this. Now on to the eyes. I'm actually going to start off using the blush that we used. I am placing it above my crease, so this is going to be my transition color. I'm just using a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to continue to build the color until it gets the shade that I want. I always do this no matter what type of look I'm doing. After every single eyeshadow, I take a clean fluffy brush and just go over everything to make sure it's nice and blended. But for the rest of my eyeshadow, I'm using this Morphe palette. It is the 35V Stunning Vibes. And I am placing this color right in my crease. And the same thing, I'm going to just build it until it's the shade that I want. And now I'm just taking a black gel liner and lining my lower waterline like usual. This one is from L'Oreal, but you can do any type of eyeliner that you want. Now on to the fun part. This is the NYX Face and Body Glitter in the shade Rose. My friend Whitney actually told me about this product. She saw my poll and said if I did the Glam Drug Store that I should use that. And this glitter actually inspired the whole look. So I based my look around this glitter and I love it. So I actually use the Too Faced Glitter Glue. So that product is high end. But if you don't have any glitter glue, you can actually use lash glue. So I really Really like the duo lash glue that you can get at a drugstore and I'm just using a flat shadow brush just to pack on the glitter on my lid. Once I got the glitter on, it looked a little bit more purple than I thought it would, so I'm taking another shade from that same Morphe palette. It is actually two colors above the first one I used, and I'm just placing this in my crease just to make everything blend a little better. On my lower lash line, I am first taking the blush and dragging it all the way across and I'm taking it kind of lower than I normally would because after I get this under both my eyes, I'm going to go in with that last shade I just used in my crease and buff that right into my lash line. That way I have both colors.
For mascara, I have heard a lot of people ask for the Essence Mascara, so I decided to give it a try. This one is the Lash Princess. It's supposed to give a false lash effect, and I was actually pretty impressed with this mascara. I don't think it beats my Maneater, but as far as drugstore, I really liked it, and I think it was like 4 or $5. So if you are in the market for a mascara and you don't want to pay $20, for one definitely get this one a try for lipstick I'm using one by NYX I'm not sure the type of lipstick but the color is 615 a and I think it's called minimalism but I think this is the perfect color for this look and I actually already had it so here is the finished look I wanted to show y'all really quick because I'm gonna add some false lashes I feel like those glam up any look, but I feel like it looks just as glam without them and you can see the glitter a little bit more, I feel like. So, like I said, I wanted to show you the before, that way you can see both versions and decide whether you want falsies or not. The lashes I am using are Kiss Lashes. They are part of the Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection. I think this style is called Garters and I'm pretty sure I got them at Ulta. I have actually had these for a while but that's where I get most of my lashes because they usually have really good deals and I really like the Ardell lashes and these are all very affordable. That completes this look. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing my glam drugstore Valentine's Day look. It may not be what you had in mind for glam. I know it's not too extravagant, but this is pretty much as glam as I get. And I love being real and relatable, and I want anybody and everybody to be able to recreate my looks if they want to. So that's why I still kept it pretty simple. But like I said, false lashes and glitter kind of glam up any look. So I really hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because my casual look will be up on Wednesday. So you don't want to miss that one. But I don't have anything else to say except thank you for watching. And until next time, bye y'all.